Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Pi Game tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be adding actions to our buttons. So we've already kind of explained why we can't just call a function on the click of a button, because if we write out the function, it will run the function on load, and that's a problem. So we can't do that. But what we can do is we can kind of do a pseudo way around this, and we can just say um, action like this, and then we can use text, and we can say action equals play for that, and then we can say action equals uh, controls for this one, and then we can say um, action equals quit for that one. And now what we do is we can come up to our button function, which is here, and then we can start asking questions about um, the action. So here we start with action equals none, I think, yeah, so we wrote out none. And then we have um, this question here. If click is zero, uh, or if the left click is, is true, basically, for one, then right now we're just printing, printing button clicked. Um, but instead, what we're going to ask is we're going to say, um, if click zero equals one, or is true, right, to one, and, and then we're going to say action uh, does not equal none. So exclamation mark equal means not equal. So if we've clicked within the button and there's an action, basically, what do we want to do? Well, we're just going to say if action equals uh, quit, what do we want to do? Well, we're just going to do a pygame.quit. That's pretty simple. And then we would say if action equals uh, controls, we're going to say we want to run a controls function. We don't actually have any controls there, so I'm just going to say pass for now. And actually, pygame.quit, and then we also need the quit. And then <clears throat> if action equals uh, play, what do we want to do? Well, we want to play the game. So we're going to say game... Um, game intro or I'm sorry not game intro um, what is the main loop like, like yeah game loop there we go so, game loop and that'll be good enough for now so when we go to run this uh oh game loop not defined okay so at the moment we're calling game intro to run before the definition of game loop has a chance to run so or be loaded into memory so what we need to do is we need to cut game intro from there scroll down to the bottom and we call game intro down here and now hopefully that will solve that problem no game loop still is not defined let me see Well, why is game loop there? <laughs> Let's try this one more time. There we go. Okay, so for whatever reason, game loop was right here. Well, paused. So that will run through. I'm not quite sure why game loop was just randomly in my script there. I think I'm tripping out. Let's try this again. So play, controls, quit. Okay, so the quit works now as a button. And now let's check some of the other ones real quick. Controls shouldn't do anything. It should just pass. And then play plays the game, but obviously we don't have a game yet. So now our buttons are working. We've got some actions for them. Um, hopefully no one else had that random game loop there. That was weird. Um, but yeah, so that should work now. Um, and basically what we want to do now, and I think we'll just do it in the next video, is for action controls, we're going to have it run a controls um, framing, basically, kind of like our pods did, and kind of like our game intros, its own little thing. Uh, the controls will be its own little thing, or it just displays like what the controls are for our game. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. Hopefully you guys got up to uh, this point. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned in the next video.